Greetings, folks. We are doing another WordPress tutorial today. As you can see, I'm in my back end dashboard. And what we want to do, let me give you an idea of what we're trying to accomplish today. Uh, what we want to do is I've got my website, my web page, rather, Freedom Signpost. And if we take that out, Okay, so you can see what it looks like. Uh, it's actually not just this page. It's, it's the whole website. So if I just go to uh, the main domain, erichepperly.com, and then go all the way to the bottom, you can see it's there too. But I'm using the uh, Freedom Signpost because it's one of the shortest pages I have. So we go all the way to the bottom. And I was able to put in this uh, 2020 Eric Carefully Designs. Uh, I'll show you how I did it. I went into Appearance. I went into Customize. And then in Customize, I went to uh, Footer Option. And I've got Top Footer. And that just lets me choose how many columns. And then the bottom footer settings. I get the uh, copyright info, right? But I put in the copyright info, but it still doesn't get rid of the branded newspaper light by Theme Century. And we need to get rid of that because this is a child theme by Eric Carefully Designs and it needs to say that. So even if I changed it to, I'll just put Smurf so you can see it change. Okay, even if I changed it to that um, and then did publish and go over here, control shift R on Windows to refresh. You notice down here the Smurf is there, but the newspaper light by Theme Century uh, is still there. It didn't go away. So what we need to do, I'm going to leave that Smurf there for now, and we will just go back. Well, let's go ahead and open that Freedom Sign signpost. All right, that's already open. So we're going to go to Theme Editor. So here's what I want to do. I want to go <clears throat> into my Theme Editor. That will show me the actual files. Now, when you're in here, you want to take really good care not to change anything because you could end up actually changing. I mean, this is the actual files. And all you have to do is click update file to make it change. And then it could break something and you don't want to do that. But what we want to do is we want to see if the part we're after is actually in this theme footer, footer.php file. If it is there, then we'll make a copy of it in our child theme and we'll edit it there. So I'm just looking. Navigation. It's really short, otherwise I'd do a, a text search, but I can see right here, newspaper light by some variable, and then it's got a link there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, and hopefully this will work, hopefully there's not any hooks or WordPress specific things I need to do to override this. I don't think there should be. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my files on my uh, web host, and let's see, ericheppley.com, and then we go to WP Content, and we go to Themes, and then we go to Newspaper Light EHW. That's the child theme that I made. And so then we want to go to, okay, so we already have Footer PHP. So if I right click and go into Edit with Code Editor, I should be able to go in here and say Newspaper Light. Ph no, Phw a a WordPress child theme by Eric Epperly Design. And then 
I don't know what this does, but let's change it to EHW. And then let's go here. And let's make that Eric Kepperly design. Uh, portfolio. We'll do that. I don't think there's a portfolio yet, but we'll just try that for now. Okay, Control S to save. And then we'll go back. Now this is in our child theme, so we can disable it uh, if it's not the right. And we'll refresh it. And sure enough, there it is. Newspaper Light EHW, WordPress child theme by Eric Hepperly Design. The only thing we're not seeing is that Eric Hepperly Design's being... Uh, I'm going to go back here so I don't accidentally change the theme footer file. And I'm going to go here and I'm say, okay. Good. Get this ahref equals. And change that to. Here. Designs. Oh, I see what that is. Okay, that actually fills in so it was a variable or something. Hmm. Can I just make it HTML? I can just make it HTML. Designs. Who's this guy? PHP, right? Okay. I'm actually going to see if I can control Z and get back to the original. Okay, so this is a variable, it appears. And it's newspaper light theme author. So we'll go. Really.com. See, that's there. That one, probably this guy here, light EHW, right by. Let's try that real quick. It still says theme center. Because I just got to change that. And we'll change this to portfolio. Bing. We will. It will go and remove. Come on, come on. Come on, go faster. Footer, 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 footer options. And bottom footer settings. And copy 2020 and publish. Go here. So it worked, but we just need to take that out and go 2020, publish. Okay, so there we go. Eric Kepley Designs. Thank you for joining this video and have a great day.